your friendly neighborhood YouTuber is rated PG-13. Parental advisory, explicit content, viewer discretion is advised. Where is he at? Where is he at? I want the cat for lunch. I want the cat for lunch. Ah! 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 Hey, what's up everyone? It's your friendly neighborhood YouTuber, and here we are guys. We are back um, with another Comic Garage subscription box. This time, they're a little freaking late! They're a little freaking late, man. It is August, the beginning of August. This is the July box. So, I don't know what the what the deal was as far as them sending this out. Maybe it was maybe it wasn't them, maybe it was the post office with the whole Rona thing going on. Um, but nonetheless, it's here. So this is the July subscription box. If you guys are not familiar with Comic Garage, uh, they are a monthly subscription box with uh, comic titles of your choosing, such as if you like DC Comics, if you like Lobo, if you like Spawn, if you like X-Men, I'm just naming off what I like. Uh, X-Force, Cable, those are kind of what I'm going for. Uh, Predator, uh, that's... Uh, Whatever you guys like, throw them your titles, throw them, you know, what's, uh, what companies you like the most, and they'll come up with the Comic Garage subscription box, so they'll throw in random comic books uh, of your choosing, of your liking. Of course, here was where the postage was for my address, but I have it on, I don't have it on there, because I don't want any stalkers, you stalkers! <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. If, if anybody wants to stalk me out there, you're more than welcome to stalk me. If, especially if you're a hot female lady. Please stalk me. I don't mind it. And if you're, if you're rich, <laughs> I'll marry you. I'm pretty desperate. <laughs> uh, it's Desperate times call for desperate, measure, desperate measures, man. I'm a single guy living in the COVID-19... Uh, error and uh, I don't know uh, for all you single people out there single guys single ladies it's been difficult man it's been really really difficult because uh, no dating is going on whatsoever let me fix my camera no action has been happening in my life ever since this uh, this virus from the devil I, I don't believe in the devil but we'll just say virus from the devil came about and cursed me cursed all of us shall i say uh there's the comic garage sticker i'm just making small talk i'm just get, letting you guys know about my personal life as if you guys care <laughs> like you're probably you guys probably have girlfriends or spouses or maybe married and you're okay but me no 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 Anyways, back to Comic Garage. Okay, so here is, if you want to know a little bit more info about the Comic Garage, here's the Comic Garage, www.thecomicgarage.com. They're not paying me for this. I just do it out of the goodness, out of my heart, because I actually do like the Comic Garage, and I do like uh, the stuff that they send me, especially vintage comic books. If you guys know me, I'm a vintage I'm a vintage man, and as you guys can see right there, they're advertising 1994 Flair football cards, so you know what that means. We have a classic comic book in our hands. Let's turn it around. Let's see what it is. What can it be? Lobo or Spawn or X-Men? Lobo! First guess. Look at that. Love it. Love these Lobo comic books, man. Number 10, the Lobo. I actually do have number one, the very first uh, issue of Lobo. And uh, yeah, man, I love it. Love it, dude. Love the artwork. I'll give you guys a close up. They don't make comic books like these anymore, man. Awesome, awesome, dude. Love the ride. Love the villains and Lobo. I just love everything about Lobo, dude. I think next to Spawn, I think he's my favorite comic book figure. That's saying a lot. That's definitely a keeper. Next up, we have it looks like another vintage comic book because they're advertising. 
Mask and Phantasm, which came out, I do believe, in the late 90s. If you guys never seen uh, Batman, the animated movie, Mask of Phantasm, it was a really good movie. Ew, look at that! Another Lobo! Lobo number one! Look at that! First Fragging Issue. Actually, do I have... I think I have the first issue, but this is a different first issue. Huh. Okay. Alright. Okay. I got your cover enhance enhancement right here. Look at that. Look at that dude. Right here. And he's pointing at his crotch. His buckle. His belt buckle. I love that, man. I love this. I've seen this issue before. It is... It's not number one because I do have Lobo number one. So this is not number one unless it's number one by a different artist. Look at that. Wayne's World 2, man. That's pretty dope that they sent me... Um, Lobo number one. Huh. It makes me wonder now, is this number one? It's not number one. Dope, dude. That is definitely a keeper. That's going to be framed. Frame it. Frame it. Num another comic book. They're doing pretty well right now. Another, uh, looks like another vintage comic book from 1993. They're advertising Spawn, Spawn cards, Spawn head, Spawn heads. Uh, could this be a Spawn comic book? And it is number eight, and I do have this comic book. Oh, man, that sucks, dude. I think I have this comic book. I think I do have number eight. I'm pretty sure I do. I'm not completely sure, but I'm pretty for sure I do have number eight. I'm pretty sure I do... Man, the artwork of Todd McFarlane is just amazing, dude. Just amazing. I'll have to look. I'm pretty sure I do have this issue, man. It's so hard to keep track. I'm thinking about doing a Spawn collection video. My buddy at Nerd Cave Nerds just recently did his Spawn comic book collection. It kind of got me uh, inspired to do my Spawn image comic collection. I don't have many Spawn comic books, but I do have a good collection of uh, image comic books. Okay, so here's looks like a newer comic book because it's from 2006 right here. They're advertising Given Evil a Wedgie. Yin Yang Yo. Never heard of it. So, X-Men First Class. Look at that. One of eight. That's pretty dope. Pretty dope. First, well, one. One of eight. I, this is one thing I, I dislike about a lot of the newer comic books, man, is they have these series, dude, like one of eight and... It's just, you know, when you have, like, a comic book from the 90s, yeah, you, it, I understand the story carries over, but you can always, you know, skip ahead, you know, two, three comic books ahead, and you still know what the hell's going on. With these new comic books, where it's, like, one of eight, if you miss, like, one of the comic books, you miss, like, an entire chunk of the story, so, that's kind of one thing I dislike about the new comic books. With that being said, nice... Nice uh, artwork in it. Okay, this is kind of up in the air. Don't know if it's a keeper or not. It's kind of up in the air. Let's check out the next comic book. It looks like a newer comic book right here. And it is X-Men Legacy. Interesting. 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 Artwork is pretty decent. Love it. It's a possible read. It's it's this goes into the I don't know pile. Next one up, it does look like a vintage, another vintage comic book. It is from 1997, and it is let me guess, it looks like a DC. Oh no, it's X Factor number 27. Okay, I'm always excited to get X Factors because I'm uh. As you guys know, I'm a big fan of X-Factor, and I don't have that many X-Factor comic books. I have a lot of uh, um, X-Force comic books. One thing I dislike about uh, the X-Factor from, what is this, 19... Is this from 90... Yeah, oh, 1988. It's not from 1997, 1988. The artwork is just kind of bland. This was before... This was post-Jim Lee and, uh, and the Image crew. Rob Liefeld. I think Rob Liefeld was X-Force, but it was before that era. 
let me flip this over first. There's the other uh, piece of another back piece right here of Comic Garage. Let's take a look at another comic book right here. This one's kind of hard to tell. Stephen King the Stand. Okay, so we have two of five. So we have um, last Comic Garage I got was one of uh, five. Was it, I think, the stand? I'm not really for sure. I know I got the stand somewhere, dude. So yeah, this is two of two of five. So yeah. Okay. Okay, this is kind of the I don't know pile. I'm not really for sure because I do have I do have the graphic novel of the stand, so I have the entire book. So I don't know. This one might not be a keeper. Uh The Crusade. I don't know if this is new or old. 2004, so we have toe tags. Joe, uh, George A. Romero, toe tags. Okay, I got a toe tags. Uh, this is number three. I got toe tags. I think it was the first issue, uh, my last Comic Garage subscription box. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I didn't have a chance to read the other toe tags, but I do like zombie comic books. And I do like George A. Romero. So, this is the I don't know pile. We'll put that in the I don't know pile. Next up, looks like a newer comic book. And we have Zombies, Marvel Zombies Battle World. Possible read. I like zombies. It is a possible read, guys. I do like the artwork in here. Okay. This might be a keeper. We'll keep this one. Um, and then we have two more to go. Flip this one over. Predator. Big game. Wow. 4-4. Four, four. Wow. That's pretty dope, man. I love Predator comic books, so you know it's definitely a keeper, man. I love Predator. And big game. I don't own any big game Predator comic books. I do own Predator comic books, but I don't own any big game comic books. So that's definitely a keeper. I love the artwork for this comic book. Definitely a keeper. Last but not least, returns June 2019. Or excuse me, June 19th, not 2019. And it is another Lobo. Look at that. 92. Legion 92. I do have a Legion. Um, I think the Legion, the one of the Legion ones I have, I think was Lobo versus the Demon. So this is Lobo versus the Iceman. So this is definitely a keeper. The final face-off. Legion 92. Definitely a keeper, man. I definitely, I keep saying this, man. I definitely want to do more comic book reviews, man. So, Returns. What is this? Is this Batman Returns? I think it, I think it is Batman Returns because this is 92 and Batman Returns did come out in 92, I think, right? 91 or 92? No, it was 90. Yeah, 92, I think it was, right? Nice, guys. Okay, so I got a good collection of Lobo comic books. So I got uh, one, two, three. This one I don't know. I'm pretty sure I have this one, dude. But it's a good one, nonetheless. Four, five, six, seven. Seven keepers, and we have three I don't knows. I do like this X-Men First Class. I might keep this X-Men First Class, even though it's one of eight. Um, X-Men Legacy, I'll have to give that a read, but the only keeper that's probably not in this one is probably The Stand, because I do have the graphic novel, so The Stand is going to be left out. So, we have seven keepers, and the three I don't knows, and one no. So, for this comic garage, I'm going to give a 7 out of 10, man. A 7 out of 10. I do believe I have this cover. I'm not for sure. I'll have to go through my comic my comic books, man, and I'm gonna do a. I'm definitely gonna do a Spawn comic book collection video in in the near future. So there you guys have it. Tell me what you guys thought of this comic garage. Do you guys like any of these comic books? I love this Lobo number one, man. This is probably this one right here is probably the best one out of them all. I do like number one and this one right here, Lobo as well. So yeah, that Lobo number one is definitely awesome. That makes up more than makes up for this uh, comic garage. But I'm pretty. I'm pretty. Uh, I'm pretty uh, satisfied with this comic garage, man. July is a July, July subscription box. So tell me what you guys thought of this uh, comic garage subscription box. Which uh, comic book did you like? Do you guys want to see any of these comic books reviewed? Let me know in your thought. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. 
we'll go ahead and leave it at that. Just want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next review. Peace out!